Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make wallpapers and block backgrounds for your iPhone and iPod Touch. Now these are custom ones. If you don't like the ones in Cydia, like me, I tend to like things my own way. And as you can see, my wallpaper and my lock background. And just to show you guys, I don't have a theme in here. Um, the theme that I'll make, I'll probably call it X. Alright? So, get two pictures that you want off the internet, Google. I got these two already. You're going to open up Photoshop. In Photoshop, you're going to open the pictures. So click on file open desktop and where's the other one right there so I'm gonna open both I'll open both at the same time there you go next you're gonna grab the crop tool this one right there you change the dimension to 320 and 480 so 320px, 480px. Next, you're going to crop it. You're going to move this to wherever you want. I'm going to do it like that. There, I like that one. Next, you're going to pick on your other picture. And this one, you're going to crop it the same way also. You're going to choose how you want to crop it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change. Make it fit on the screen. Makes it easier. Alright. I'm going to choose the middle, right here. Uh, something like that. There you go. Alright, so you go to your pictures. And you're going to click on File save as. Now you're going to name it to wallpaper or lock background whichever one you want. This one I'm going to name lock background. So capital L, L C K, capital B, A C K, G R O A O U N D. Lock background you're going to change the format to PNG like that now you're going to save it wherever you want I'll choose the desktop you're going to click no that's done close this one and now this one file save as you're going to name this one wallpaper like that you're going to change it to PNG now this one will be on your home screen and that's it you're done next all you have to do is name the folder like I said I'm naming it X and this is the lock background you're gonna put it inside there here's the wallpaper you're gonna put it inside there next you're gonna plug your iPhone in You're gonna SSH into it. I'll have a video. I'll have links for everything. If you don't know how to SSH and if you don't have Photoshop, I'll have all, for all that. So you can go SSH into your iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay. Next, you're gonna go into 
private var. So you're basically going to go back once. You're going to click on stash. And in stash, there's a folder called themes right there. You're going to grab it. You're going to put it in there. So let it transfer. It's complete. And it's in there. Oh, by the way, you need Winterboard for this, obviously. And it's in your Winterboard now. So, like I said, there wasn't a theme called X before. Now there is. You guys can see that. So, I'll check mark it. Sorry. In there. Watch. Winterboard will do its thing. By the way, this I'm doing it on a Mac. It's the exact same process on a PC, so you guys don't have to worry about that. I'll have if you guys need me to make a theme using a PC, because if you guys are more comfortable that way, I'll do that also. And there it is. My lock background. And I slide it open. Turn it on. <coughs> There's the wallpaper. There you go, it's that simple. Um, I'll make another video maybe this week, maybe next week. Um, you guys can always send requests in. To make whatever theme you guys want. I'll show you guys how to make it. As long as you guys subscribe and yeah thanks for watching by the way please check the description everything will be there promise guaranteed if the links don't work message tell me and I'll put up a new link and yeah so have fun make your own go ahead get creative with your themes thanks for watching bye